Hello, Placid Five here. On tonight's menu, we have our review of the menu. For the appetizers, I have joined here with us Stephanie in the Meadows. Hey guys. And Smo, aka Steven. So the menu is directed by Mark Malad, if I said that correctly. His last name does sound like a dessert. It features the great R Ray Fiennes, Anna Taylor Joy, Nick Holt, John Leguizamo, and a bunch of other people. The story follows a couple, um, so what appears to be a couple, right? Because it is a little ambiguous throughout the movie. And they go to this deserted island where there's an esteemed chef played by Ray Fiennes. And everything's very orderly. You can tell this is best of the best. Everything's super artistic. All the, the dishes, every single meal is tailored and specific to, to his vision. It's, he's kind of like an artiste in a way, right? And as the night goes on, you start to learn more about all the guests. And every single dish starts to represent something. And it's, very, it's a mystery slash comedy. There's a lot of funny moments, but there's a lot of mis mystery moments as well. Uh, I think the movie did a great job at en encompassing both of those things. So that's pretty much the premise. It is one of those movies that it's kind of, the trailer's not going to do it justice. You're going to have to go see the movie. Also, the plot, it's hard to pinpoint the plot because so much happens. But overall, the idea is kind of like a night at this restaurant as things start to go downhill uh, over time. Um, so one of the things I did love about it was how original the writing was how original the script was it's been a while since i've seen a movie where i was able to predict a few things but overall you had no idea what direction it was going it, they kept you at the edge of your seat guessing throughout ray finds totally commands the screen um just like all the chefs respect him the audience also kind of has to respect his acting he totally dominates the scene and you don't know what his next move is he's absolutely just mysterious in his own way. And they do a great job at not just blurting out everything that's happening. They kind of lead into that, you know, in their own way. And even with the main character, like the relationship that Nick Holt and Anna Taylor Joy, the movie begins, they don't just flat out say where they're at. You kind of have to put it together. They don't just like give it to you. And I like that the movie lets you kind of piece it together. And the, the good movies, I think, are able to do that. They don't just have people kind of tell them exactly what happens. Yeah, it's not your typical thriller movie. It keeps you on your toes. It's kind of a guessing game. You're basically playing the game as they're playing the game. And it wasn't as predictable. And Ray Fiennes definitely commands the screen. You kind of love to hate him in a way. Yeah, um, I don't, charming. Yeah, charming in, charming. A, way, in a way, yeah. Um, of course, everybody knows Ray Fiennes from Harry Potter. He was Voldemort. Don't say his name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He who shall not be named. Um, Big Harry Potter fan. Yes. I love Harry Potter. Um, but no, I really do think that he commanded the screen. It's a very different role for him. I think he's been villainous, but in this movie, um, all the characters definitely complimented him. Um, you don't really know any of the actors who are like his sous chefs, I guess you would call them. Yeah. You don't really know any of them, but they definitely commanded the screen as well. Yeah. Um, it's reminded me of like a military. Yeah. Kind of style. Very Everybody's, military style. Everybody's kind of like he's in command and, you know. I think him and Anya Taylor Joy definitely had really good chemistry. Yes. Yes, they did. On camera. Yeah. One of the biggest things that I really liked was uh, the how they slowly revealed the information. They, they're not super upfront about it. And as the movie goes on, you get more and more detail on each of the people, each of the tables, and you get kind of get a feel for their personalities and you start to understand why they all have been invited to this place. So I think that, yeah, that, that being said, that there's just a lot of character at each of the tables. And I think they all played their role very well. Them giving you uh, information over time, they're not obvious about it. They just, they ease into it, They, which is smart. I like how they wrote it. I like how they portrayed the story in that way and the pacing was good as well. So yeah, then we have the um, the sort of young, douchey kind of entrepreneur types. We've got the, the unfaithful um, sort of couple in there as well. It's just every like kind of archetype. An alcoholic mother. Yeah, alcoholic mother. It's just, we had this, they all had their own characters and archetypes. So they did such a good job with that. 
Yeah, they all have their own conflicts, just like from the name of the movie, you would think it was just like a, a movie about like a restaurant, but like you don't know what goes on in the restaurant kind yeah, of thing. Like food based. Food but. based. It's very mysterious, but everybody is on the menu per se. They all have different characteristics about them. They're all very have different personalities and they all have their own con inner conflict. Different flavors. Different flavors, yes. And in the movie, they kind of set it up as a menu. So it's like kind of like different chapters, like appetizer, first course, second mm -hmm. course, third course, final yeah. course, stuff like that. I really like that. And they have like really, like as the movie is going on, they kind of put what's on the menu, but they kind of add little like nuances, like really funny captions. Yeah. Like during the movie. Uh, that being said, uh, one of the more things I found to be a downside was some of the action scenes. So there's only, there's not many, but the few that were there could have used a little bit of work. They were they were a little like yeah, the choreography a and the I was agree. a little weak. Uh, it, the the scene did what it had to do, kind of showing like that part of the story. But yeah, as far as one the heavy intense action scenes that kind of stray away from the suspense ones that are like actual heavy action, those. Yeah, could it could have used some more work if, if I had to have a negative for the movie. But overall, I mean, yeah, this as as Steph said, the cin cinematography, music, everything works very well together to add a sense of mystery to the all the characters and the place, you know, and they, they slowly ease you into, you know, more intense, you know, things as a progressive. But yeah, I, I think it was very well done overall. All right, so to wrap this up, we're going to each give our reviews of what we thought about the movie and a score at the end out of 10. 10 being amazing, 1 being um, walkout. walkout, horrible movie, obviously. So uh, quite honestly, I, I really loved this movie. I thought it was absolutely entertaining, entertained throughout. I was totally immersed. It takes like a little bit to start, but once you're in, you're totally captivated I was trying to, I was at the edge of my seat trying to figure out what was going to happen next. I was totally invested in all the characters. I thought the acting was great. Uh, as as Steph and Steve mentioned, the cinematography, the editing was great. It kind of gives you like a new, um, it's very like fancy and elegant the way they kind of approach food. All the food that they're showing is so intricate. And it, that just even is a character in itself, right? The, the food as well. Um, I thought it was totally unique completely original script i just I, honestly i loved it um you know the only gripes i would have was some of the acting and again there's a few things in there that i would have liked for them to explore a little more but i i just thought it was it was definitely uh one of the the better moves i've seen this year for sure i'm going to be giving this one a solid nine out of ten michelin stars I do agree with some of the stuff Brian said. I really, really, really liked how they featured all the food. I will tell you, it makes you hungry. And as somebody who's a foodie, I really appreciated the fact that they showcased all the food. They kind of actually like said what on the screen, like what the, basically the recipes were, not recipes, but like the, e the ingredients and the elements that went into the food and the different names. And you kind of learn a lot of like terminology. There's a lot of movies that I feel like are not as original as this one. I, I don't know. I just really like unique and different movies. And I think this one, you are very immersed in it. You don't feel bored at all. Um, I would probably rate this movie, I kind of changed my mind actually. Um, I think I'm going to give this movie a 9 as well. I was going to give it 8.5, but now thinking back on it, I probably would see it again. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I absolutely agree with both of these two. Uh, there's very little that I could find truly wrong with it. I think that it did a lot good, obviously, as mentioned before, pacing cinematography, acting, the mystery of it, the suspense, all of it together. I think they did a great job and very original idea and script. So for that reason, I'm also giving it a nine out of 10. Um, yeah, yeah, nine out of 10. All right, that concludes our three course meal review of the, the menu. We've talked enough, you should go get some food if you're watching this. Yeah, but before you do though, please make sure to subscribe 
Um, and tell us below if you saw the movie, what you thought about it. But please make sure to subscribe, hit that notification button to check out our latest reviews. Not all of them will be food related, I'm sorry. But thanks for having me again, guys. Yes, but thank you to Steph Meta, Stephanie in the Meadows for being here. <laughs> you will see her in more reviews. But thank you very much until for watching. Next time. Until next time. Peace Bye, out. Guys. And just want to add that you definitely don't want to be on the menu.